Hello a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Southampton facing Manchester City. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Thank you, St Mary Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Shielding the ball superbly. And play halted, free kick given. Kamaldin Sulemana. And whipped into the box. It's a perfect challenge. Erling Haaland. Foden. Just the challenge that was required. Gundogan. So for Southampton, it didn't really go to plan last time out. They lost against Liverpool. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, there was no obvious game plan when they were out of possession and the result was a woeful defensive display. Today, they have to show more at both ends of the pitch. But at the moment, confidence is low and sadly, so are their chances of getting a result here today. Well, here are the facts of the matter. The hosts have conceded more goals than any other side in the league. Their opponents have the best defensive record. How do you think the home side will set up in order to get a result today? Well, Derek, they have to set themselves up to stay compact defend with great urgency and then break from there otherwise it's going to be a really tough day for them Walker now with Mares oh, possibilities inside the box Holland a good and fair challenge Romain Perrault. And an astute piece of defending. Phil Foden. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Walker. Now they've lost it. Günther. De Bruyne can he put them in front really important tackle
Ibrahima Diallo. And Southampton will get the throw in. Ben Sheath. El Yanusi. And Osic with it. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. In with a chance. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stewart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, no stopping him. It's there for him. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Holland. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. in by De Bruyne and you need your defender to take charge Gundogan well good vision he might be able to carve something out De Bruyne Erling Haaland and that's what they needed Manchester City a goal to level matters here Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, he needs to be careful here. Foden. Now Gundogan. Able to get a body in the way. Diallo. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Well, the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. El Yunusi, they could nudge in front, still possibilities. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. Well, certainly, and here they are, passing the ball around once more. Gundogan. He takes aim. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper.
Who's going to get on the end of it? Struggling to get it away. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Well, there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at St Mary's. And the match begins. El Yunusi. And Orsic with it. He might be able to carve something out. De Bruyne. Erling Haaland and that's what they needed Manchester City a goal to level matters here Gundogan he takes aim well he had the measure of it the goalkeeper So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. The cross is on. Gunduan. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Questions asked of Southampton. Now it's all about their answers. Gunter. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Just a quick reminder, we'll have action from the Carabao Cup coming up live here on EA TV. It's Southampton. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? In it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. No shortage of goals on this match. 3 1. Kevin De Bruyne. Elianusi. 
quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped well he's gone into the book well he was late and he deserved a booking for that He was trying with that free kick, but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way. De Bruyne. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Well, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. And using his... Now, oh, this could really lift spirits. A goal! As they cut into their advantage, still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, back on the way. And a glut of goals here. 3-2. 30 minutes to go then. Riyad Mahrez. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. It's a perfect challenge. Hang on, Derek. It's a chance here. The net is staring him in the face. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway once more, level at 3-3. If you've lost your keys. De Bruyne. On to Holland. Kevin De Bruyne. Mares. Well read to put an end to that attack. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. This might be ideal for the counter. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Giving them a different option by moving in field. Body in the way. Gundogan. Now with Mares. Just 20 minutes remaining now. De Bruyne. Mares. And return to De Bruyne. Walker and now Rodri working away patiently looking for an opening Walker the ball with Rodri De Bruyne well it looks highly promising but they got nothing out of it Suleimana on the offensive Adams well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened all even but will it stay that way and reading it absolutely superbly. Suleimana. Racing forward, trying to catch them out.
El Yanusi. He's trying to create something. Terrific block. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And the pass could do damage. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Bad pass. It's a weighted pass. Wasteful from Southampton. Grealish. Now Holland. Perrault on the ball. Chief. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And forward they go again. Can they win this? Can't miss, surely. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. De Bruyne. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. He read the situation defensively. And the referee blows the whistle. That brings this match to an end. And all is well in the Southampton camp. Well, they had the same old problems at the back today, but their forwards certainly made up for that. I thought they were outstanding, both with their movement and when they ran with the ball. That's an impressive win. El Yanusi and Osic with it. He might be able to carve something out. De Bruyne. Erling Haaland. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Gundogan, he takes aim, well he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper, Gundogan, can he put them in front, yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Now, this 
could really lift spirits. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty. Hang on, Derek, well, it's a chance the here. of live football, EA TV. And a quick reminder, we have live the action face. from the Carabao Cup coming your way. Oh, it's Manchester it City this taking on Birmingham City. Stop. Well, it's great now to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. The Everybody loves this damage. competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. And a goal it is, but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just... Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time, really appreciate that. That's all the questions we have for you. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's Southampton up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition. And although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to put their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. Then Chief, number 24, Mo Elianushi. And number 13, Ebereke Eze. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. Thank you, St Mary Stadium. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Romain Perrault. Chief. Sulemana. Ezi. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it's his general play that was outstanding. Getting on the ball, making things happen, and he got his reward with the brace. And I'm expecting to see exactly the same again today. Corner awarded.
Over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. No way through. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Four shots. Ball with Junior Firpo here. Well, can they make one of these passes count? Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Excellent vision. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Ailing. Mark Rocca. Well, attacking possibilities, but quick thinking defensively. Well, far from the ideal pass. Suleimana. Ibrahima Diallo and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage Ben Sheaf and with that the attack fizzles out Ailing. On the ball, Mark Rocca. For sure. Dallas. And given away. And teammates to play it to. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Paul Ebere Onuachu. And in possession, Morelos. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Ezi. On the ball, Mohamed Elianusi. That's useful play. Elianusi. Crossing opportunity. And using his strength to shield the ball. Giving it a try. Well kept out. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Now the delivery, just over the crossbar with that effort. Luis Sinisterra. And successfully cut out. And that pass needed to be a lot more precise. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Mark Rocca. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead.
Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And a good take under duress there. He'll have a go here. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Can they get in behind them? Straight forward for the keeper. For sure. Half time then. That's going to be all for the first 45 here at St Mary's. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And now they get the ball rolling. Corner awarded. And using his strength to shield the ball. Giving it a try. Well kept out. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take... And now the delivery. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Mark Rocca. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have... And that is going to mean a caution. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Oh, breezing past him. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Sulemana. I must say, this looks promising. Kamaldin Sulemana. And he cuts in from the wing. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Southampton facing Manchester United. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Can he make it count? Oh, a smart stop.
elects to go short delivering it into the box really good interception and clears his lines must be and there it is the goal they wanted for security they lead by two now they can breathe that bit more easily Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Kamaldin Suremana. Could cross it in here. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. And they need to get tighter. El Yunusi. Gives it a go. And no way through. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So there we have it, 2-1. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Leeds United taking on Chelsea. Might be able to produce from this position. To be replaced by number 12, Who can he pick out? And can they prize them open now? It has to be! And a decent save, full credit. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not messing around with that clearance. El Yunusi. Eberechi Ezi on the ball, putting his body on the line. So making the substitution now. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. 20 minutes to go in this one. Well, Leeds aren't controlling the possession here, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that'll be a free kick. An effective challenge. Harrison promising attack this and teammates to play it to and with play stop they will make the change now Romain Perrault. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? 
Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. Dallas. On the ball, Mark Rocca. A chance to whip it in. Oh, could be. Keeper getting the touch. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. Well, who knows? He might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. Tyler Adams could cross it in here missing the target by a tiny margin well it's a difficult skill to get right but he almost pulled it off there he made such good contact with the ball so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture But it comes down to the final five minutes. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Tyler Adams. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Now he must favour the cross. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. He's driven in the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Ibrahima Diallo. Woods with it. Onuachu. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Yes, it was tight, but they won't worry about that. They had to be resilient at times. There were periods where they were put under pressure and they couldn't get full control of the midfield. But they're through to the next round, and that's what matters. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is, he kept on getting into the right areas, and he scored a very good goal as well. And so the match is underway. Corner awarded. And using his strength to shield the ball. Giving it a try. Well kept out. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take... And now the delivery. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Mark Rocca. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And there opening goal well arguably against the run of play they've been second best up to this point but they have a 
And that is going to mean a caution. Must be. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. And no way through. game and they have the momentum now it has to be and a decent save for credit well can they draw level here putting his body on the line Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good con. We've got some questions for you. No further questions, thank you.